What's up guys? Dave here with the 2020 Honda Grom. Doing some basic uh, fix-ups, maintenance, services, replacing certain things, uh, removing the bodywork off of the side. First, you know, it's the first time I've ever touched a Grom. So some things, you know, I'm doing for the first time. But I'm sure some of you are curious about how to do certain things. Removing the shrouding, uh, you basically have to access every you got Phillips heads back in here. Uh, you got Phillips heads that hold this on too. You got to take this off first. So you got you know various Phillips heads. You got various 10 millimeters inside. So you got to take the seat off so you can access all of that. Uh, there'll be a 10 here. Uh, you'll have an Allen right here. You know, and, and you just basically have to seek out every fastener. You got one here too. You know, just seek them out. You'll you'll see them all. And then after you take this guy off, pull the whole shebang off like this. Because I'm about to just swap out the red piece here, so you have to undo these Phillips head screws to do that. So we got that coming. However, here's another thing. A lot of questions on how to adjust the idle on one of these bikes. And um I searched all over the internet. You find some people who are telling people the entirely wrong thing. Some people are telling you you adjust the idle by adjusting the air mixture screw, which is on the other side, facing this way, a little black screw. I'll show you that in a second. That's how you fine-tune the idle, but that's not how you adjust the idle. To really adjust the idle, you have to come over here to the, this side, where the throttle cables come in, to the throttle body and I'll show you a closer look very simple all right right behind this cover right here get your uh, wrench uh, take this guy off right here eight millimeter take this eight off here and we'll show you what's behind this cover with a close-up okay eight millimeter pull this guy off now here's where the throttle cables come into the throttle body under here is where the actual idle adjustment is okay Let's see if we can see this better all right take a close look where the throttle pulley is see that See that's there's a, a nut, a lock nut, and an adjuster. Okay. Let's see if I can hold all this with one hand. This right here. So you have to loosen that nut first. Then you're basically gonna tighten that screw to raise the idle or loosen that screw to lower the idle. Now you want to do this when the bike is fully warmed up. Don't do it when it's cold, you know, when the engine's cold. Go out, ride it around, you know, a few miles around the street or whatever. Get the bike fully warmed up before you tweak anything relating to the, you know, the throttle body, air screw, or idle screw. Idle speed screw, you can call it. All right. I know it's under, it's under here, so maybe... A little difficult for you to see, but this lock nut right here is a seven millimeter, so it's a little bitty thing. You're gonna loosen it, so push down on it. Just loosen it a little bit. Now just to show you what it looks like, I'm, I took it out all the way. All right, let's see if we can look at this here. It is a tiny little thing. And notice the manufacturer painted on it right there to show where it's set from the factory. So it may be a little difficult to break it loose. So you might have to take it off all the way. And it has a little bitty Allen head for the actual adjuster screw. Let's see what size that is. All right, you've got two options. 
as far as the actual adjustment screw right here you can either use an itty bitty little allen this teeny little guy here which is a 2.5 itsy bitsy 2.5 allen or let's say uh, you're trying to use you know like a little socket a little quarter inch socket or something on it T10 Torx if you don't have a little bitty allen socket it's a T10 Torx will also fit in this hole as you see fits fine so giving you some options so you know you can do something with it uh, but you're gonna have to screw it in and it is yeah I can tell that 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 little paint thread locker or whatever marker they put on it makes it a little difficult to spin I can't do it by hand so you'll have to get you a little wrench hold this in place get you some leverage on it there we go now it's broken free now you can make adjustments to it however you know if you're having to really far adjust this screw that means you got something else going on uh, it could mean you know your air filter needs replacing it could mean your little crankcase breather this bike has this little guy here that has this little breather filter on it. It could be clogged. Uh, your crankcase vent, which is on the other side. Okay, around to the uh, other side of the bike. See that little tube right there? That's your crankcase vent. And if it is filled with fluid, it needs to be drained out. So you just undo that little clamp right there and just drain that out. That's a common overlooked issue on all kinds of four-stroke bikes, actually, not just these. Uh, especially if you run at high speeds a lot. Um, that's a good thing to investigate, you know, and service frequently. Okay? Um, you know, if you're still having issues, you're, uh, and if your bike has been sitting for a long time, you might have, uh, you know, your throttle body might need to be cleaned, actually. So you're going to have to remove it, all this from here and clean it out by hand. You know, uh, there's several things. You could have uh, an air leak somewhere. You could have an exhaust leak from down here. You know, this, is, this applies to all kinds of four-strokes, not just this little bike. Uh, you might have something disconnected, you know, some of your sensors and whatnot. There could be several reasons why the bike will not idle up at all. And on four strokes, typically, they will not idle if they are lacking in air. They will sputter, you know, they will pop a lot out the exhaust. Um, that's a common four stroke thing on all kinds of vehicles. If yours just will not hold idle, it's probably got a lean issue somewhere or a vacuum leak or, you know, something is, is sucking air into this system right here that's causing it to uh, to bog and pop you know it just causes it not to want to run right so you know check for other things before you just go cranking down on that throttle screw because you might have other issues if your bike used to run fine and now all of a sudden it just decided not to so check all that out first but uh but yeah we'll put that screw back in and we'll just uh, we'll tighten it down just a little bit because I'm right at 1100 RPMs right now. It needs to be more around 1300, 1400. Um, so, you know, just tweak on a little bit. And you may want to leave everything disconnected like this until you can go out and ride it and experiment with it some because, you know, it's, it's a little bit of an ordeal to get everything off to cleanly access that area. So that's just, a, you know, the, these are simple little tips for all kinds of four-stroke bikes. And scan through our channel, uh, you will, uh, you'll find all kinds of things relating to dirt bikes, scooters, ATVs, mini ATVs. Uh, also make sure the spark plug is correct. Make sure it's the correct one for your model. Just look through your owner's manual for that. Um, there's just all kinds of little tinkery things that can make a four-stroke not want to idle properly. Anyway, so you have to go through it step by step until you get it down. And uh, anyway, so yeah, scan through our channel. We've got all kinds of cool stuff that might help you out. 
relating to uh, ATVs, mini ATVs, scooters, dirt bikes, uh, Hondas, Yamahas, Harley Davidsons, Suzuki mini ATVs, Polaris mini ATVs, cars, trucks, anything. You'll find all kinds of stuff. We've got almost 2,000 videos on our channel. And also Google Horsepower House. We're on eBay, Amazon. We've got two YouTube channels, Facebook page, and we sell mostly specialty tools and little special knick-knack items for, uh, for working on your bike, uh, magnetic oil drain plugs, rubber fork boots, rubber shock boots, you know, just stuff that's kind of difficult to find, uh, especially in a common store. So uh, that's what we really try to key on is the unique stuff that's hard to find. Anyway, that's it. You'll have a great day. We'll see you all later with the 2020 Honda Grom.